everyone, and welcome to another preview spotlight on the upcoming hero, Aluna. A ranged intelligence carry and powerful ganger with shiny objects adorning her body. This time, let's start with her ultimate. It gains charges over time, which allow you to significantly boost your other abilities on activation. Her first skill is a no damage bouncing stun that steals attack speed from each unit hit. Starting at one second on the main target, each following unit is stunned for a longer duration. Her ultimate doubles the stun on the last unit. Because of the stolen attack speed, you can rapidly attack while your enemy is stunned, making for powerful laning control and team battles. However, against a single unit, it's not very effective on its own. Aluna also has a long-range high damage power shot. Throwing her giant stick at her enemies, she deals diminishing damage to units in a line. With her ultimate activated, the skill has global range and deals full damage to all units. Since Power Throw has an exceptionally long range and fast travel time, it can be used to snipe off fleeing enemies or pair with a stun from her first skill for an easy shot. Aluna's third skill has three activation points. When you first activate the skill, you get a movement speed bonus for a few seconds. You may use the skill a second and third time to create and teleport to a shadow that runs back the way you came. While this skill is especially useful for overextending past towers and teleporting to safety or juking enemies, it's especially useful for escaping when your ultimate is active. The red version makes your shadow slow all enemies in its path for a few seconds. For a standard skill build, you should start by maxing out Aluna's first two abilities, both the stun and the long range damage skill with priority on the second skill, as it's your main source of early game damage output. Depending on the lineup and situation, you can also train one level of her third skill for the movement speed boost and survivability. It's not necessary to train her ultimate right away and since it costs a decent chunk of mana, it may not be worth it to do it at level 6. For items, it's good to note that Aluna gains a large amount of attack speed in battle, so items with a chance to proc, such as Thunderclaw and Savage Mace, will prove useful for high damage output. Another good practice with Aluna is to keep good map awareness, since you can use your ultimate and power throw to snipe unsuspecting heroes and assist allies and ganks across the map. Just to demonstrate, a great way to use Aluna's third skill is for chasing a hero behind towers or into his base. By activating the skill before you've gone past the tower or entered an unsafe area, you can easily port back to safety afterwards. As I mentioned earlier, with the immense attack speed Aluna receives from her first ability, items like Charged Hammer that have a chance on hit to do bonus damage are especially powerful, since it'll proc more frequently within a short amount of time. Hellflower is also especially powerful on her. This item essentially fixes any mana issues and allows you to spam your spells freely, while giving you another way to quickly take down an enemy by comboing your stun with silence. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this preview spotlight and we'll leave you with some words of wisdom from Aluna herself. So two girls walk into a bar with one cup. 